before I could get it out of him. He wasn't the spy then. Look at this. A transmitter? Exactly. Planted to keep someone informed of his location. <laughs> Does this mean Granin was the spy? Perhaps he was being used by someone else. Perhaps. This man was our comrade. Comrade or not, he's of no use to us now. I don't approve of your methods. I don't need your approval. I'm in command here. And that nuclear shell? Still feeling sore about that, are you? What are you gonna do? Report it to the authorities? This is war, Major. The Cold War, fought with information and espionage. We must root out spies wherever they hide. It is kill or be killed. Potential threats must be weeded out. Your feelings are a menace to the unity of our organization. Someone is guiding the enemy's hand. A single man can only accomplish so much. Make no mistake, there is a spy among us. But casting suspicion on our own comrades... The C-3 explosives have been stolen. You think it was the American? No. He could not have reached this fortress yet. Then... who? I'd be careful about suspecting your own men. Boss! Where have you been? The fear and the end have fallen. Damn it! <laughs> CIA dog? That leaves only the fury. How can the legendary Cobras be beaten so easily? He's good. Fallen for him? Don't worry. I'll take care of him. What is he after? Must be more than just Sokolov. America is out to destroy the Shagrahad and get its hands on your inheritance. The Philosopher's legacy. Huh? Impossible. The legacy, it... Then they're out to kill me as well. Colonel, tighten the security on this place. He's coming here, I'm sure of it. I'm gonna get the Davy Crockett. them up properly.
You've got the key from Eva. Now use it to enter the underground tunnel. The great fortress of Groznygrad is at the end of that tunnel. The door to the underground tunnel is in the summit area. Hurry. It looks like you can get a nice panoramic view of Groznygrad from there. Perhaps you should scout it out now while you can. Just don't do anything too conspicuous. Remember that the attack chopper is still on patrol. Major, Eva isn't responding to the radio. Right. Right. Snake, she's been talking to you from inside an enemy facility. She's not always going to be able to answer the radio. Don't assume something's wrong just because you're not getting a response. Don't worry about Eva. Stay focused on your mission. Got it. Major, I saw that Tatiana woman again. Hmm. We've been analyzing our data, but so far we've been unable to find anyone matching that description. Maybe her posting was so obscure that we simply overlooked it. Or maybe she's such a VIP that all the data on her has been classified. That's a possibility, but I'd be tempted to go with the first explanation. We'll keep going over the data. Thanks. Major. Yes? I was just wondering, why do they call you Zero? What do you mean? We go back a long ways, but I just realized I never asked you why you're called Zero. You want to know where it comes from? Yeah, if that's all right. That's a bit nostalgic, really. Nostalgic? Hmm, the first British intelligence outfit was established in 1909. The head of the Foreign Intelligence Division was a man named Mansfield George Smith Cumming. He was referred to simply as C after the first letter of his last name. Since then, out of respect for Cumming, the heads of the SIS have traditionally taken the name of C. And James Bond's boss is called M. That's right. I myself was once known as O. And that's where Zero comes from? Precisely. In another sense, though, it signifies a ghost, one whose true identity must remain a mystery, the primogenitor of the solo sneaking operation. Is that so? I see you've equipped the binoculars. Yeah. Scouting is the bread and butter of sneaking missions. Are you finding them useful? Yeah. The performance is top-notch, and they're easy to use. These are some good binoculars. Really? Sigint will be pleased to hear that. Why does Sigint care? Because he made them. From what I hear, it took him more than a year to finish them. I'll admit they're good binoculars, but what took him so long? Was it grinding the lenses? No, it was the style. The style? Yes. He said he could never get the body design just right. Thanks to all his blasted tinkering, we went three times over budget. He'd better have a will ready before I get done with him. <sighs> your actions can lower your stamina. You say Granin's shoes were rigged with a transmitter? That sounds like something the KGB's been working on lately. It's exactly like you described, a miniature transmitter that's small enough to put in a shoe. Granin said he got the shoes from a woman called Tatiana. You think she's a KGB spy? Could be. Or maybe it's some kind of ploy to throw suspicion on her. Anyway, it's your job to find out. Good point. Sigint. Yo! Eva said she set up a ground effect vehicle for us to make our escape. So I heard. The ground effect vehicle, or WIG, is something like a cross between an airplane and a boat. It uses ground effect to fly. Ground effect basically means that when the craft skims the surface of the ground, the air between the ground and the wing is compressed, which gives the wing an extra boost. From what Western intelligence agencies have been able to gather, the Russians are pretty serious about developing these wigs. Apparently, they're planning on using them for anti-submarine patrols. I guess I can see why. The WIG's long cruising range and high-speed capabilities make it a good choice for that kind of mission. Eva must have gotten her hands on one of the first prototypes while it was being field-tested as a transport craft. The WIG has a top speed of over 400 miles per hour, and its range is pretty good, too. Not that speed is going to help you if you've got a supersonic fighter jet on your tail, but if you hug the surface and stay off the radar, you should have no problems getting away. I see you're using the binoculars. 
Those are high-performance binoculars made especially for the military. They're completely waterproof and are filled with nitrogen gas to prevent lens fog. The eyepiece, objective lenses, and the prism have been coated to reduce glare. They ought to work plenty well even in dark places. And they're even equipped with autofocus and zoom functions. Won't find a better pair of binoculars than that. I know. You know what? You made these binoculars, right? Y yeah! But they're good, aren't they? Yeah. Covering your body is a good start. You can capture animals a lot. Do you want to save? Snake, have you ever seen for a fistful of dollars? Nope. Never. It's a spaghetti western. Spaghetti western? It's really cool. Especially the main character's stylish gunplay. Gunplay? I saw it in England on the Major's recommendation, but it hasn't come out in the States yet. It's so cool. They'll bring it to America, I'm sure. You have to see it sometime. Sure. <laughs> 